Well, I think it's official. This looks like a lava level. If any of you had any doubts. It looks like, I'm guessing from all the blood stains and the summon signs, that this is probably a PvP spot. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than listening to the gentle whoosh of constant summon signs being popped. I don't think Flame Swath is quite gonna work out on these guys. Ugh. Jeez, they're so fast though. Be a little annoyed if he was right behind me still. Oof. Huh, okay. Well, it looks like I probably don't have a lot of poise, so I guess that's kind of the trade off. Like, really fast, but they'll stagger pretty easily. Would have thought there'd be an item in one of these hidey holes. Or maybe you can, like, drain the lava at one point and that's like a gate you can go through. That sounds like it might be a thing. That was something you could do in the last game. Drain some lava, or it, it like, hardened too. After you defeated the ceaseless discharge who let's let's face it folks has the best boss name in video game history eh I wasn't even looking Ugh. I'm like hanging on and by a thread with these guys. Don't understand it. Am I that slow of a caster? Oh, well, okay. I was gonna say, that's maybe not the best decision I ever made. Ooh, boy. Taking a chance with that. I hit him with the flame swath. I, I sort of nailed him with it, but in order to do so, I had to... Just block him with my body. No big deal. And if there was ever a time for the fire defense ring, I think this is probably it. Oh, well now I have to do it. Let's see what this guy did, though. Let's learn from his mistakes. so bad. It's a very brief window to pick it up, but it was, it was fine. You see, the trick is to not stand in the flames, which seems counterintuitive, I know. That was some interesting pathfinding. Oh, well, this was so easy. Why couldn't they all be like this? Why couldn't they all dash around in a diamond formation? Or whatever the hell that was. rude of you to interrupt, you know. 
No. Oh. I'd hoped with the intelligence ring that it would do the two soul arrows would be enough to kill them. Just to make up that little bit of extra damage, but I guess not. Okay. If you really want a sniping duel, I guess I can oblige. Ow. I don't want to have to use an herb on this chump. But he's like just barely too far away. Oh well. Oh. I gotta make this as painful as possible. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Rotten hell, you herb using bastard. Or maybe I could have, like, arced the fire orb using the binoculars or something. Just bopped him on the head with it. Probably wouldn't work, but I, I think that'd be pretty funny. Okay. Didn't realize I was going to be facing off against the kind of enemies who'd shoot a man with his back turned when he's whipping out his binoculars, but alright, well that's how it's gonna be. The guy's got some impressive range, though. Okay, looks like it'll be safe to drop down there. I kind of suspected that it was going to just be a trap or something. Like you drop down and just end up in the lava. Oh, jeez. Ghost Knight, you scared me. Thought you were another enemy dropping in. Oh, and I got a little drawbridge. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing it. Maybe eventually, but not right now. That is... the very definition of asking for trouble. I know that burning alive in lava is kind of a harsh fate, but he sort of deserved it. Not sure how the game can justify letting him dodge a hex by just slowly strafing to the side. Putting in the bare minimum of effort there. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Now you're not even trying. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. 
sort of had that one coming. They put all the good guys up front, and now it's just the... All the slackers in back. All the dudes who have, like, an inner ear problem and can't <laughs> keep their balance. Oh. oh, still got it. Almost missed a shot. Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as walking into lava, but... Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like this is the boss, though. Uh, it's kind of interesting that her sign's right in front of it. I guess that kind of makes sense that they wouldn't put it further away. They can see you're having trouble getting over the drawbridge if they put it, like, at the start of the location. Hmm. Actually, I probably shouldn't. Kinda doubt that she'll make the jump. Sorry, Luke Teal, but it's not happening. Maybe that's being a little unfair. I mean, Jester Thomas did know how to moonwalk after all. So maybe Luke Teal knows how to jump. Hmm. Eh. I'm okay with it just being the two of us. We gals have to stick together. Hello. You're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> figures I have all this fire stuff with me. Uh, I do need to make sure that she survives, though, so... Thought he was charging something up. It's definitely not a good sound he was making. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna need to use an herb. Because at this rate, I don't know if Luca Teal's gonna survive. It's gonna be pretty close, I think. Oh, what? God damn. I don't even think I was that hurt. 